There is one person in Fairmont who has a destiny, a destiny to be there for other people, and that is Mr. Dukes. I love people, you know. I love all kind of people, you know. The, the smart ones, the not so smart ones, the uh, people with a lot of problems, you know. Uh, we all need somebody to talk to one time or another, you know. And whenever I get to that point where somebody needs a shoulder to cry on, I'm, I'm glad to lend mine, you know. And uh, I'm also glad to share what I can share. Despite Mr. Duke's condition, which keeps him confined to one room, he still finds a way to make it outside to interact and help others in his community. I love doing stuff like that, you know. I, I love going around talking to the neighbors and, and just kind of sharing with them a little bit, you know. And I, I'm right where I can't do much else, but I do what I can do. And therefore, that, that's my destiny. For 47 years, Mr. Dukes has been known in the Fairmont community as someone that they can come to for a lending ear and some guidance. He's someone that they can always count on. There was a young lady that I thought needed my help. I, she needed somebody's help. And I chose to be that person. She was hanging out in a place where the prostitutes and all of them hang out. I knew she, I didn't think she knew what she was getting herself into. So I couldn't, I called her aside one day and talked to her. And I said to her, young lady, I see where you're hanging out. You are better than that. You are better than that. She dropped her head and I said, no, don't drop your head. Raise your head up, look me in the eye. You are better than that. And she moved back to Chicago where she came from. But I learned later uh, when she came down here one day, she, in fact, she told me she made a trip special down here to see me. She drove up in my driveway and when I heard the car door slam, I looked up and that was her with a big smile on her face. And she came over and she gave me a hug and a kiss on the cheek and she said, Mr. Duke, I moved back to Chicago where I came from. I enrolled in, school, in college, I got two good degrees and I got a fantastic job. And uh, she says, I owe it all to you. I said, oh no, you don't owe it to me. You owe it to the master. He just used me as a mouth he, And I, I got a mouth that don't stop going sometimes, so I guess he, he had the right person at that time. There are countless times that Mr. Dukes has gone out of his way to help the people in his community or listen to someone there who needed to be heard. I try to people, treat people like I want to be treated, and hopefully they'll return it. There, there are some people, there are some they're grown men now, but they were kids when I first started cutting their hair. And they try to uh, make a hero out of me. I don't want to be a hero. All I want to do is be treated like I treat you. I can't do nothing about the way you treat me, but I can do something about how I treat you. Sometimes all it takes is one person and a kind word to make a difference. And luckily for Fairmont, Mr. Dukes is the perfect candidate. For LUTN News, this is Emily Jackson.